Chairman Lee Kun Hee once told his executives to change everything but your family. By 2012, Samsung would spend over $10 billion in that year on research and development and become one of the top 10 ranked global brands. The heart of every home is the kitchen. The heart of every kitchen is its fridge. Letting food bring families together since 1938. Hey! Well, welcome everybody back to Open Shop. My name's Carla, it's so great to have your company in our gorgeous kitchen with one of the world's biggest brands, Samsung. I'm so proud to be bringing you a fridge that is going to revolutionize your kitchen. If you've been putting up with a dodgy old fridge that doesn't keep things cold anymore, maybe it's a bit on the nose, maybe the shelving has been bugging you the whole time. We know that, right? As, as mums and dads and busy people, the fridge is the heart of the home. If you can't fit your groceries in, if you can't keep your food from going off, and if you can't get organized and you know you know you you bought something but where is it because it's which its way all the way to the back of the fridge uh, then we're gonna make your life a lot easier it's time to upgrade with Samsung because we have one of the hottest deals out there don't bother going to the shops you know that's that's a nightmare wait do you see what we're gonna do for you free delivery right around Australia $500 saving but I'm gonna, not gonna tell you the deal yet I'm not gonna show you the item number I want to introduce you to Robbie from Samsung welcome to the show Robbie great to be here thank you so much for having oh, me we're so thrilled to have you back we had you for the amazing robot cleaner and now we're talking fridges and I'm a bit of a nerd when it comes to white goods I love a good fridge and a good washing machine but tell me about Samsung one of the world's biggest brands right well I'm I'm sure that all of your customers right now can be looking around their house and they've probably got quite a few Samsung products. They might have a Samsung smartphone, a Samsung smart TV, they might have one of our Samsung fridges or washing machines already or the PowerBot that we had here a little bit ago. Yeah, Samsung well... Samsung is a huge brand. It's a huge brand and it's become recognised for its technology and being bang on when it comes to customer needs. And something that Robbie and I were talking about before the show is that who designs Samsung fridges, Robbie? Well, it's a really good question. So obviously we have a lot of people that work for Samsung, but all of the products that we make are designed for the consumer, which is basically you guys. So with that, we use a lot of research and insights and then we adapt our products to exactly what the customer needs, which is exactly what you're going to see today. Exactly. And, and more specifically to that, Samsung have developed their line for Australia for Australians. So, you know our climate, different to the Northern Hemisphere. Our humidity is different. The way we use our fridge is different. We're storing a little bit more wine, apparently. Uh, so all of that's taken into account when they are designing fridges for us. And that means for you and me, something that we use. How many times do you go to your fridge in a day? I know my kids go about 3,050 times. Um, and hoping that the next time they go, there'll be something different in there. Um, but we do, we use our fridge a lot. So you want something that works well, that functions well, that keeps our food fresh. That's the key. If you think about the most important thing about a fridge is that it keeps our precious food fresher and safer for longer. And that's the technology behind your fridges, right? Absolutely. So with that, again, we make sure that not only does your food stay fresher for longer and everything inside it stays evenly cooled, Importantly, your fridge also looks good. Yes. And you're going to see that today. Well, that's right. I think here in Australia, we love a stainless steel fridge and that is what we're bringing for you today. And we are about to make Australian home shopping history right now in offering you the first fridge available to get on TV, shipped to your home within days, free delivery. Let me give you the deal. Now, the item number is on your screen, 300575. It is a 458 litre bottom mount fridge. So that means the freezer is on the bottom. Why is that great? I'm going to tell you so many reasons why. But the first thing that I want to tell you, everything that you go to multiple times a day is at eye level. No more going all the way down to the bottom crisper bin 10 times a day. It's going to be at your eye level. I love a bottom mount freezer. On top of that, you're of course getting free delivery. It is a right hinge fridge. So the, fr the, right, the hinge is on the right hand side, which is going to suit most of us. It's pretty much the most popular. $1,199. Now that is our deal for you today. $500 off 
free delivery. It's going to get delivered to your door. Get it as close to where you're going to put it as possible. Um, it's really easy to unbox. The box literally slides up off the top. You need two people, slot it in, plug it in, and you are ready to go. 300575 and if you want to um, you can actually Google while you're watching us right now here on Open Shop and compare prices much easier than tracing around the shops. Now on top of that I want to talk about rewards because when we start talking about fridges we're talking about a price point that is going to earn you a lot of credit points. Now you know how this works right? For every dollar you spend over hundred dollars in an order you're going to get ten dollars credit points into your account next month. So tick, 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 adding, 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 around about 240 credit points in your account next month after the 15th. How good is that? What are you going to spend that on? You can buy a clock. You don't have to buy appliances. You could, buy, you could put it towards an appliance. You might come back and buy the Samsung washing machine or the Samsung robotic cleaner, but you might want to buy a TV. We've got that coming up for you as well. Maybe even some jewelry for yourself. It's up to you how you spend your credit points. That is yours. Um, don't forget either, free delivery. And can I tell you, most retailers, and I do a lot of shopping because I have holiday properties and I'm constantly getting furniture delivered. And this, delivery charges are not cheap, Robbie. They start at about $80, they can be up to $160 depending on where you are. We, with Samsung, are organising the delivery for us, for free, for you. Okay, so we're all, it's all mates here right now. Samsung, Open Shop, you guys at home, we're, we're negotiating the best deals for you. So let's get into the fridge because I can't wait to show you this fridge. It is gorgeous with everybody renovating their kitchens now. Isn't it nice to put something sleek and modern in? Absolutely. You want a contemporary design with your fridge and our 458 litre bottom mount definitely matches that profile. Mm -hmm. So as you can see here, a nice flat design on the outside, a nice square shape. No really, fingerprints, Robbie. No fingerprints. <laughs> so we use layered steel, which is really cool. And as you can see, we've had all the grubby cameraman come in and have a oh. look at this so far. No <laughs> offence, no offence. But with that, they've had their hands all over it. And you can barely see fingerprints because yeah. we use layered steel, which is really cool. Yeah, right. And, you know, when you've got kids, seriously, the little finger marks, they get on there and you've got to wash them off. That's there. I love the sleek, long handles as well, all integrated in that same silver colour. Absolutely. Mm. Now, can you see the water? We have a water feature. What's going on there, Robbie? Do we need to plumb this in? Well, actually, let's play a little game first. Can okay. you take a walk behind? Can you see any pipes or no. hoses or anything like that? I see a plug and that's it. That's it. You're exactly right. All it needs is power. And interestingly enough, this is a completely non-plumbed unit. You actually don't need to pay for plumbing or to have existing plumbing at your property. Mm -hmm. The water tank is inside. I can't wait to show you that. Okay, let me clarify that for you for a moment because if you have been looking for a fridge or you've been thinking about it and thinking, oh, I'm going to definitely get ice and water and blah, 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 and then you go shopping and they go, yeah, you're going to need plumbing behind your fridge. Now, most existing kitchens, that's not going to be there. It's very expensive. You've got to get water plumbed into the back part of where your fridge cavity. Now, if you're thinking about most of our fridge, our, our kitchen layouts, Normally your fridge is on the opposite side to where your sink and your water is, right? So this is where Samsung again are so smart. They know that as Australians we want chilled water. We want chilled water, it's hot here in summer. Plus, we want to drink more water. We want to encourage our kids to drink more water, not soda, soda drinks and so on. So we want it easily accessible. And so they've made it so that you've got a water dispenser chilled without any plumbing required. And that is because on the inside of the door, we have a refillable container that you're going to top up each day if you want with filtered water. You could even put a little bit of lemon in there if you wanted to make it lemon water. Um, is on the inside. So how I don't often see water on a single door. That's right. There's not a lot of fridges out there in a bottom mount or a top mount that offer water. Mm -hmm. But again, we ask for what our customers want. Customers mm -hmm. want this and we've provided it. We're providing it. All right, you've got that star rating right next to you. Now, this is important when we're talking about appliances. They use power. We need to be mindful of our of our carbon footprint and how much energy we're using. What's that four star representing? So four star energy is really important to us and that is actually quite good in a bottom mount. Now, if you're at home, please run over to your fridge now and I'm guessing you're probably gonna have something that's more along the lines of two or three. Mm -hmm. With this, a four star energy rating means that it's not gonna 
absolutely jack up your power bill mm -hmm. every single month. And you think about it, a fridge is on all the time, unlike a TV or a washing machine that is only on once or twice a day. Mm -hmm. um, so the fr a fridge is something you do need to be mindful of and four stars is a brilliant energy rating for a fridge. Now let's talk about the processor that works the fridge because this is the heart and soul of a fridge. It doesn't matter how good it looks, although it does look really good, if it has fluctuating temperatures, if you open the door for too long, does it scoot up? Tell me about the the smart technology behind this fridge. All right, well, let's actually talk about the past. So I'm guessing you've had a fridge before that makes this sound every couple of minutes. <laughs> you know yes. that sound? Yes. So that's a conventional compressor type. Now, our fridge that we've brought along today actually has a digital compressor. And with that, the digital inverter compressor runs at a variable speed, which means it's not as loud and it doesn't actually go up to 100% power usage. Mm. It actually runs at a variable speed only when it needs to. It's actually incredibly smart. So it's only making small adjustments rather than waiting for a big drop of temperature and then hitting the gas pedal. That's exactly right. So that actually means for the customer that your temperature inside will stay at a more consistent level mm -hmm. rather than waiting for it to get warm on the inside and then kicking straight in. Now that's good for multiple reasons. One of them is food safety, mm. food preservation, because we know that, especially with things like fish and poultry, that dramatic changes in temperature can ruin the food. Absolutely, and temperature variance is one of the things that ruins your food extremely quickly. Mm. Now, let's use another example. It might be that lettuce, for example, that you have in your crisper, mm -hmm. and after two days, it's half the size that it was, <laughs> and now it's brown. Yeah. That's because the temperature variance and the humidity has gone pretty quickly. Yeah. With this, we can actually maintain a more stable temperature. All right, I'm dying to go inside. Are you guys? I want to show you inside this fridge because it's so cleverly laid out. And this is where, okay, now you know that the temperature is going to be regulated. Now you know it looks good. I want you to show you how functional it is day to day. Come and have a look inside. So the layout is phenomenal. Maximum capacity. So we're looking at 470, uh, 458 litres total. What's the um, the different the two different spaces per cavity? So with that, we've brought today a bottom mount and why we've done that is because a lot of us use more fresh food than frozen fruit. Would you agree? Yes, yeah, absolutely. And more, more and more so, I absolutely. think, moving forward. So we've got a bigger fridge space here. Absolutely. So you have a bigger fridge space and really importantly, right there is where now all of your fresh food and mm -hmm. veggies live. Mm -hmm. Rather than trying to get right to the bottom and bending down, putting strain on your back. Yeah. Really accessible. You know what, and just as an eye line, because we all know with our kids when they go and look in the fridge, I can't see anything, I can't see anything. Where is it, where is it? If everything is in your eye line, it's at your level, you're more likely to see A, what you've got not double by, um, and B, that whole bending over to unstack, to reload, you've just got a delivery of food and veggies and you're, you're loading the fridge up or you're un, you know, getting rid of stuff that's gone out of date. It's all with you standing upright. And this is why I love a bottom mount. I was so excited when, when um, Jason said to me, we're doing the bottom mount. I said, great, that is one of the things I recommend to most people going bottom mount, um, so that everything is at eye level. Now, I wanna show you this really clever little shelf here. Tell me about this, Robbie. So we have the Easy Slide shelf. Now, this right now might look a bit funny if you haven't seen one of these before, but what I like is, Every time you have a fridge at home, you have different shaped items. Mm. So we have Christmas coming up, you might actually have an item that's oddly shaped. You can simply slide that shelf back and put something that's a bit larger there to make it more convenient for you at home. And you still have that little, kind of little bookshelf then for the smaller things as well. You know, I'm thinking of the big ham, mm. you know, when you've got the ham and at Christmas time, aren't we all just struggling to find extra oven space, extra fridge, fridge space because we've got you know, the champagne's out, and the wine's out, and the beer's out, and you're trying to juggle everything. The Samsung fridge is so adaptable without you having to unload, move a shelf, reload. I mean, we haven't got time for that. No, absolutely not. So again, making it more convenient with the bottom mount, everything is right there at your disposal in the fridge space. Now, I want to talk about the airflow. Um, because something that I noticed straight away was we've got glass shelves, which is great because if something spills, 
you wipe it straight up, it doesn't go through every single thing. But you've also got little vents on each shelf. Tell me about that. Well, do you mind if I show you? Can we yes. show you this fridge over here? Should we go to the empty one? Shut this one. Let's go. If you want to follow me, this is where, again, we really revolutionise the fridge for the customer. Now, on conventional fridges, what you'll find is they typically just have one or maybe two vents at the top, mm -hmm. and then all the cold air has to drop. Mm -hmm. While here we have a vent on every shelf so we can evenly cool the space, which is really important. Which is really important. Otherwise, you will have cool spots uh, because cold air drops, right? Um, but you have to al allow, there's, if you've got solid shelves, it, ha it will drop slowly, right? So again, we're trying to keep that temperature at around about three to five degrees, right, in the fridge for, for maximum storage, um, even on every shelf. So you're not going to have to move things around. I just saw a deodorizer, Robbie. What's that? Deodorizers are really important. So have you ever had an old fridge at home and when you open the door, you get that whiff of something mm -hmm. that's just a bit disgusting? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. fridges can build up odours, which in conventional models, they sort of live there forever. Mm. We have a deodorizer. What that does is it actually takes in the air mm -hmm. and then captures those odours and releases cool, fresh air back Great. into your fridge. And it's carbon based, so nice and natural. Absolutely, yeah. so you don't need to do anything with it as well. It just sits there and does its job. How good is that? And everything is so easy to move around and I would want to suggest you to do, when you first get your fridge home, think about what you buy, think about what you use, set up your shelves accordingly and then load her up. Here's your item number, 300575. We are so proud to be uh, bringing you Samsung White Goods, white, uh, Samsung Appliances, uh, the, one of the world's biggest brands. Samsung fridges are one of the most purchased brands in Australia right now, so you're in good company. You've got a 10-year warranty on the processor, on the processor. Yeah, we'll call it the compressor. The compressor. And you've got a two-year warranty on the whole fridge itself. You're getting it delivered to your door for free. It's going to come straight up to your door. Um, get it as close to where you're going to put it as possible. It's very, very easy to install. I can hear an alarm. I love that. It tells me if I've left the fridge door open. Do you know what we're known for at Samsung, which I really, really like myself, is that we are the key of smart so again we've got smart phones we've got smart TVs we've got it all our fridges actually have multiple sensors that just like now mm -hmm. they tell you when the doors open that's an easy one but in Australia we have those days where they get to 45 you know in some places a little bit hotter in degrees our fridge has sensors on the outside which adjust the digital inverter compressor so it knows when to work harder or slower again giving you better temperature variance. Oh my gosh, that's not only sensing if I leave the door open, but it's actually sensing the outdoor temperature. Absolutely. How smart is that? Because we know how hot it goes. And you know, if you've got a fridge at home right now and you think, oh my gosh, it's coming into summer and I know one day it's just gonna go kaput. Because on those hot days, it's whirring like an old car, right? It's trying to get that temperature down. It's like an air conditioner. It's trying to bring the temperature down. And if you've got 45 degrees on the outside, it's working so hard. So don't wait for your fridge to die. I'll tell you, that's a really bad position to be in on a 45 degree day when you're trying to get a fridge delivered, right? Um, you want to preempt that. You want to get rid of that old fridge before that happens and get your new Samsung in and ready to go, ready for the summer months when it's going to get hot, it's, you're going to want cool food, you want it fresh food. Um, live a day without a fridge. That's scary. It's really scary. I'm going to give you a moment to order and I want to share with you a little bit of vision on the history of this amazing company, Samsung.
Yeah, it's absolutely the smart company. And when you're buying appliances, when you are buying products that need technology, who do you go to? You go to the, the company that spends billions of dollars annually on research and development, and more importantly, gets a lot of that research from you and I, the consumers. They listen to what their consumers are telling them, and that is what's made them such a powerhouse globally. And here in Australia, such a huge brand when it comes to appliances, TVs, you name it, and we have them here at Open Shop. A thrill for me to be able to present this uh, product to you today. And I want to talk a little bit more about Samsung because when it comes to trusting a brand, with our family, because that's really what we're doing as consumers. We're trusting Samsung to say, I need to keep my food fresh. I need to keep my kids clothes washed. Um, I don't want to buy a new fridge every two years. Right? I don't want to buy a fridge every five years. I want to buy well. I want to buy, I want it to last well. I want it to be reliable. That's something that we put in the hands of Samsung. Tell me about how you, how you take that. Yeah, so with that again, we truly look after our customers and we listen to our customers. Our customers are the forefront of our business and really importantly, when we're designing products, we want to make sure that it's perfect for all of us Australians at home mm -hmm. by doing a lot of research, spending a lot of time listening, and then we get great products as a result, mm -hmm. which I think you can agree, yeah. stunning and stunning. functional. It's, and you, when, I think when you get this at home, you're going to be so impressed by the, um, the quality of every facet of the fridge, the way that the handle feels and, and th these are things that you know as women as mums you know when we go you have to when you go shopping for a fridge I bet you anything you're the decision maker and I know that sounds terribly sexist but it's the mum who says you know what that handle that will drive me crazy you know I don't like the look of that door that will drive me crazy I don't like that shelf it's too flimsy that will drive me crazy you know so it's really it's so discerning that Samsung have taken everything on board and, and and guys I know you're the same as well that when you see when you open up this fridge and you feel how solid everything is and you f and you see how well laid out and you can see how the controls are seamlessly on the inside everything is where it should be Absolutely. Mm. Again, making it nice and easy for consumers, putting things in really easy to find places and making it more accessible. Now, talking about accessibility, what we haven't shown you is where the amazing water comes from. And this might be such a revelation for you today, saying, what? I can actually get water in my fridge without having to get it plumbed? Maybe you've already had that priced out and you thought, okay, that's just blowing the budget. I'm going to have to go with a fridge that doesn't have water. Well, no, you don't, because Samsung is so clever, they have put in a water container on the inside. Now, how does this work, Robbie? Well, it's very, very simple. So number one, all you have to do is take this little top up here and fill up the water whenever it gets empty. Number mm -hmm. two, the fridge does the rest of the work and cools it down. Mm -hmm. And importantly, number three, what do you get? You get nice chilled water. Chilled water, ready to go at any time you need it. Love it, and so good for the environment. How on earth did we get to the point where we're buying bottled water? And you know, if we could have, t if you could have told us back in the 80s, we would have said, you're kidding. No one's gonna buy bottled water. You don't have to, you know, and this is the great thing, teaching our kids to have their reusable bottle, fill it up for school each morning, take the cool water to school. You don't need to be buying plastic bottles over and over. Single use bottles is crazy. Now you can lock it as well. Is that to stop the little two year old going up there and <laughs> yes, it, it really is. So I've got a little niece and she is absolutely adorable, but really in the kitchen and the house, she can be a little bit of a terror. Mm -hmm. She's now running around and touching things and grabbing stuff with this. Just simply lock this mm -hmm. and that's it. They'll never have water all over your floor by accident yeah. again. Yeah, you don't want to walk into the kitchen and find that. Um, have we got a glass? I want to show you how this works. So basically you've got chilled water on the go. Now you could put your own filtered water in there. You could put... Um, tap water yeah, if you want to and you can either like you said you can take it out is that right Robbie or you can just fill it straight in through the top absolutely you can take the whole canister out if you like or very simply just fill it up at the top oh this is so easy you know what I like about this though why is that because it's non-plumbed it's actually to a degree pretty quiet so yeah. with that as well, when you have conventional models where they actually have plumbing and stuff, it can get a little bit noisy with things rattling around. With this, pretty quiet if you're getting that glass of water in the middle yeah, of the night. Yeah, the middle of the night, yes, because they do, they tend to 
the, the pipes kick in, don't they? And the, you get a little bit of a shutter through the house. So your water dispenser is there. You just need to top it up. Do you want to see that on the inside again? I just want to show you that again. So this whole canister can pop out if you want to carry that over to the tap or to your water filter, fill it all the way up. What's the litre capacity for the water? So it's a couple of litres, two litres, which great. is great if you need a couple of glasses of ice chilled water mm -hmm. ready to go. Mm -hmm. in, in saying that, and this is probably a good question for, for everything in the fridge, when I put something in that's room temperature, uh, obviously everything I'm going to put in here has is not cold. So the fridge is going to sense that, hang on a second, the, the environment's just changed. Does it kind of actively try and bring that temperature down straight away? So if I was to fill that up, for example, how quickly would it be cold? Well, with our digital inverter compressor, what's really cool about it again is that inside there is sensors. These sensors are always monitoring what's going on, which means that they will always adjust what's happening on the inside compared to the temperatures and humidity that's going on inside the fridge. Brilliant. So when you come home with all the groceries and all the, you know, everything's gone in, the temperature has gone up in the fridge. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Can I actually tell you a sneaky little feature that yeah. I neglected to tell you before? Yeah. So let's just say you're at the shops and you get that tub of streets ice cream, yeah. probably one of my favourites to be truthful, <laughs> and you get home and it's a hot day, it's starting to melt a little bit. You know, we've got this really cool feature. I'll get you to come and have a look up here, which yeah. is called Power Freeze. Oh. So you might be able to zoom into that. If you hold that button there, which says freezer for three seconds, it actually puts the freezer to its maximum use so that it can snap freeze things like ice cream, fruits and veggies. Oh, oh fruits and veggies, I should say meat in this situation, in your freezer. How cool is that? Just for that. <laughs> I think everybody's just going, okay, that's done, I'm done. Because you know what, You sometimes, you, and or even with things like, I buy those schmoozes for my kids which aren't frozen, you actually have to freeze them. And quite often they're saying to me, mum, they're not frozen yet. How long are they gonna to take to be frozen? Or if you're making your own icy poles, you know, so out of juice, you wanna make them freeze quickly. Power freeze. Now, speaking of power freeze and temperatures, can we go through this panel? We want to make sure, because in the old days, and maybe you've got a fridge that you have no idea what the temperature is. Absolutely. You know, you don't have a, a readout that tells you, you know, three or five or, or minus 15. And this is really important because if your fridge, you know how sometimes with those old fridges, you might go, you know what, things aren't as cold as they should be. You could actually have food that's going into the food poisoning zone, right? If you haven't got a fridge cooling it properly. Tell me a little bit about these controls. Well, let's start with this. Number one, the control panel, as you can see, is now on the inside of the fridge. Love that. So when you actually look at this from the front, you have this beautiful contemporary design and you don't really need anything on the outside other than the water dispenser, mm. right? Yeah, it's really sleek. So straight away, yeah. contemporary looks nice. Yep. Number two, the control panel on the left there, you can actually turn off the door alarm if you're filling it, for example, and it's taken quite a while. You can activate power freeze, which I really like. Again, simply you just hold the freezer button for three seconds. There. Can you tell me how to turn the, the, the door alarm off? How do I do that? Really simply, you just hold the alarm button here and that'll yeah. actually turn it off oh. just there. That's all you have to do. You know what? That drives me crazy. It's like I'm trying to quickly, <laughs> trying to quickly feel it. Like, okay, fridge, okay. Stop being so neurotic. Okay, I'm gonna go, and then you close it and it stops. Okay, and then you open it again. And then, you know, if you, anyway, I'm so glad that that feature's there because it's gonna save us a lot of stress. Um, over here, we've got the freezer temperature. What should that be on? So freezer temperatures can vary uh, depending on what you've got in there, but really anywhere from negative 18 to negative 23 is about right. Okay, quite, if you, is, am I right in saying, Robbie, is that if your ice cream is soft, your freezer is not freezing properly? Oh yeah, Con in conventional models, absolutely that can happen. Yeah. Uh, and yes, you'd say yes. Yeah, okay, so right now guys, if your freezer, if you get your ice cream out and it scoops really softly, you need a new fridge because it's not getting down to that minus 15 or minus 18. And that is where again, you're spoiling food before you need to. I mean, the freezer is meant to allow you to keep food for even longer, up to three months, right? If you've got meat that's sitting there, it's not quite frozen, goodness me, you don't want to be cooking that, okay? So making sure, and this is why I love it, displays it, because if anything changes and you open and go, oh my gosh, my fridge isn't at minus four and my, and my freezer, you know there's something something amiss. And before you lose all your food, because you think about how much money is in this fridge right now, 
How much money is in your hard earned money is in your freezer, in your fridge with the cost of meat and the cost of fruit and veggies. You do not want to be throwing it out because the temperature's not right in your fridge. You want to be you know, making these products last as long as possible. So in our, in our fridge, what sort of temperature should be sitting around? So again, it depends person to person, but somewhere around that two degrees to five degrees is about right. Mm -hmm, perfect. And you know, a good Chardonnay, around about eight to nine degrees. Absolutely. Well, you've actually got <laughs> quite a few in here, by the way. I was, I was actually having a look at this before. This has been designed for me. And all of us, all of us Aussie lushes, right girls? Um, I love that you can look, because you know, wine bottles take up a lot of space going vertically. You've got a nice little shelf that tucks them away in here. Of course, it doesn't have to be wine. It can be mineral water or, or whatever. They're not gonna roll around because they've got the lovely little cradle. Um, and you're going to have it all at that lovely temperature. Now, if you want your wine to be, um, you know, if you're a wine connoisseur and you want your white wine to be a little bit warmer, take it out and get it to room temperature, look, you know, just bring it down. But here it's gonna be sitting around two to four degrees, perfect for champagne, uh, perfect for your, your mineral water. And then we can adjust our shelving. We've got a couple of little uh, different positions for all of these shelves, right, Robbie? So we can move that round before we load her. Absolutely, you can adjust a lot of the shelving in our fridges and even better with the wine rack, if you're not gonna use it for a while, say that you wanted to put some more food in there, mm. let's say you had a big family birthday or something and maybe you weren't having a lot of wine, you can actually just take that out. It just slides straight out, it's as oh, simple as brilliant. that. Okay, so if I take that out now, I've got a little bit more vertical space there. And, and this is, you know, coming into Christmas, this is where we need a fridge that is adaptable and usable and functional and you're most certainly going to get that. Can I tell you, if you've got people coming over for Christmas and you're unsure of your fridge, replace it now. Chairman Lee kun hee once told his executives to change He's everything but your family. Sun. Amazing, upside down. We call it an upside down sometimes, don't we? Or we go um, bottom mount fridge for just $11.99, down from $16.99, free delivery. Now Samsung are gonna do the delivery for you. They will bring it to your door. You will get it as close to where you're gonna put it as possible. By the way, there's four little coasters on the bottom. They, they roll in and they roll out. So if you ever wanna clean behind the fridge, you wheel it out. And when you wanna finish, you wheel it in. Same when you install it yourself, you're literally gonna wheel it in. Okay, so bottom mount fridge. 455 litres, you've got a water dispenser, non-plumbed. Don't book the plumber, don't need a plumber, don't need plumbing, don't, there's nothing, no install required really. You just, you just need two people to help wheel it in. Um, the box slips off the top, you're ready to go. You've got the twist, oh, we haven't been in the freezer yet. Wait for it, wait for it, we'll come back and do the freezer. Uh, the bar handle, sleek and modern, and a 10 year parts warranty on the inverter. Okay, so that's parts only on that. That's the heart of the machine. Two year warranty on everything else. Multi-flow cooling. In other words, every shelf is cooled to the same temperature. You don't have any cold spots. You don't have any hot spots. It is all even. LED lighting. So it's nice and easy to find everything. Tempered glass shelves that wipe clean easily. You know, th these are things you think, well, shouldn't all fridges have? No, they don't. A lot of fridges have plastic shelves. Okay, a lot of fridges still have wire shelves. So Samsung are your go-to when it comes to technology and functionality. Easy slide out drawers as well. That um, uh, crisper bin. So easy to pull out and push back in when you're looking for your product. Easy clean steel, power cool freeze we talked about, frost free of course. You do not ever need to defrost a fridge from Samsung, the freezer I should say. The dimensions, these are important for you if you've got a, an existing cavity or you're, you know what sort of space you're working with. 700 wide, 600 deep, 1700 wide high. There's the difference in your fridge to freezer space. So we've got 306 litres in the refrigerator, 149 in the freezer, giving you a large, fresh food space. And you've also got that four star rating. Now I'm going to come uh, back and take you through the freezer, show you the ice cube, show you the buckets at the bottom. But before we do that, I want to share this with you. Chairman Lee Kun Hee once told his executives to change everything but your family. By 2012, Samsung would spend over $10 billion in that year on research and development and become one of the top 10 ranked global brands. The heart of every home is the kitchen. The heart of every kitchen is its fridge.
letting food bring families together since 1938. Welcome back everyone. If you've just tuned in, we are sharing with you Samsung appliances. What a time to upgrade your fridge. Coming into summer, coming into the festive season, coming into Christmas, you do not want to be without a fridge for even an hour. You think about how often you go to that fridge, you think about how much money you put in that fridge every week with your shopping. I know that when I go to do my grocery shopping, I'm spending hundreds of dollars every week, not to mention the food that's in there, you know, that that I don't want to, for it to go off and throw out. Now the deal we have is amazing. You don't need to go shopping for this. You can do a little Google search, you can compare prices, but we have one of the world's biggest brands, Australia's biggest fridge brand, right here for you at 1199 for a 458 litre bottom mount fridge. Stainless steel finish, all of the technology that you would expect from Samsung, water dispenser, non plumbed. In other words, you don't need to do any additional installation. We're going to ship this puppy to your door. Very easy self-installation without a problem. You've got four wheels, wheel it in, plug it in and load her up. You will get constant cooling. You will have electronics telling you exactly what the temperature is, that instant freeze, adaptable shelving as well, and an awesome freezer capacity, which I'm gonna share with you now. Robbie, let's go to the freezer, because when it comes to a bottom mount freezer, you get extra space, and that's because the buckets you can load into, you're not trying to balance everything on a shelf. That's exactly right. So you actually have these drawers here that are gonna make separation of your food and being able to organize better than ever. Mm -hmm. So let's start from the bottom up. So we'll start okay. at this drawer down here. So what would you put down in here? I would put my frozen peas, maybe um, a lamb yep. shoulder or something that I'm saving up for a Sunday roast. Big items. Big items, absolutely. Yeah. Maybe put the bigger items down the bottom. You might also want to put some bulk leftovers. So yeah. if you're somebody like me who loves to meal prep, why don't you simply put all of those takeaway containers that you've got mm -hmm. down the bottom all stacked nice and neat. Nice and neat. Maybe the big family lasagna, that kind of stuff, right? And look how easy it is it pulls out. So you're not trying to look into the back part of the freezer where things kind of get lost and go to man no man's land and you forget you even had it. And then you pull out this thing of sausages and think, I don't even know when I put these in. Or even worse, <laughs> you have something at the back and you don't even know if it's steak or chicken or what. You're <laughs> yeah. like, what did I wrap up here? I have no idea. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, because then you have to you think, well, I'm not going to risk it. I'm going to throw it. There you go. You're wasting money again. So everything we can see easily, clearly by pulling out the, the um, um, you call it a drawer, I call it a bucket, but it is a drawer, isn't it? Absolutely. Now the next one up, we also have another drawer for you. Are they different temperatures or is it all the same temperature? You know, they're not different temperatures, but it's evenly cooled throughout, which means that whatever you put in there, it has the same level of cool air getting circulated to it. Okay, brilliant, which is freezing. In other words, it is solid. If your ice cream is soft, it's not cold enough. Are those two drawers the same? Size? In size? Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, pretty much brilliant. the same size. So if you've got those larger items, again, you can organise this how you like, mm. which is perfect. I love, I love that Kimberly has literally decked this fridge out like it was mine. <laughs> so there's all the frozen organic. Those, you know, when you do smoothies, and we're again going into this summer season, the kids are doing smoothies, the banana chunks, the mango chunks, the frozen berries, it's a really, yeah, frozen margaritas. Um, this is what we want to be, because sometimes the fresh berries and so on in a smoothie, expensive, right? Frozen berries, easy because they're always there, they're always in the freezer, they're ready to go. Now, as we go to the top, I'm seeing some interesting shelving there. What's that? Well, let's look at this one first. I'm going to call this one the party zone. Party zone. So maybe you have those kids at home, nieces and nephews, and you've got some Zupa Dupas or a big tub of ice cream for their treats. You have a specific smaller zone that you can use however you like, mm -hmm. which I think is really cool because you can organise and segment your freezer to how you want to use it. Mm. You know what I love about this too, and I'm just thinking in those bottom shelves as well, quite often we have a lot of space taken up by our ice blocks that go into eskies. 
or into school lunch boxes and so on. So you can pretty much compartmentalise all of those kind of ice blocks that take up a bit of space as a bottom layer and then load all of your other things on the top. Up here you could, Zupa Dupas absolutely, I'm also thinking of a bottle of vodka or limoncello or something like that up the top there, do you think? Or even, you know, if you've got little kids you've probably got the little ice packs for, lump, you know, bumps on the head and stuff. I can absolutely tell you, my mum's watching, hi mum by the way, um, hi, so mom. with that she probably has those two ice packs that I had on my head a lot when I was a kid, always falling over, really dopey, and they were definitely have a spot in this drawer here. Yeah, I actually literally yesterday had to go home to my son who was on crutches and he had a bag of peas on his on his foot. He yeah, came home on crutches from school. He um he pretty much smashed it. He twisted his ankle and his the top part of his foot. He's okay now. I think he was milking a little bit. You know, because he's just getting a little bit too much attention until I remind him, hang on, surf it's tomorrow. Oh yeah, it's feeling better actually. Yeah, anyway, but you know, it never stops. He's 13, you've got little ones banging their head, you know, big kids are going to sprain their ankles. It's great to have your ice packs there ready to go. That can be the section there. What about ice cubes for that margarita? Well, we've been through it a little bit on the show, but I definitely want to touch on it again. Did you see any plumbing at the back of no, this fridge? No, plumbing. No plumbing required, and I can't stress that enough. You probably, probably a lot of your customers live in apartments. Mm -hmm. They live in smaller places. They are renting and they can't afford to plumb into the wall or they can't find a spot for it. Mm -hmm. With this, we have our twist ice maker, which is located just here. The genius of the twist ice maker is you actually just fill up the water into the cubes at the top and then you twist it once it's formed and it falls into the tray below it. How simple is that? And now we put... Wow. Ah. Hey, that's a cocktail o'clock right there, Mel. I just heard her, her ears just pricked up. It's like, ooh, what was that? Someone making cocktails. Um, so now I can take those ice cubes straight over to wherever I'm mixing up the drinks or the kids are having a smoothie. That can go up to the bench. How often do you have kids opening up their ice cube things all over the bench that then melt and you've just got water everywhere? Absolutely, what a pain. <laughs> what a pain. There you go. And so that, so I could do that, fill those up, do it again, yep. fill them up, do it again. I could load that up with ice cubes. Absolutely, can I give you another real cool thing you can do as well? Real cool, no pun intended. Um, <laughs> but hypothetically, if you had another little container, maybe it's an empty ice cream container, you can have multiple places for your ice as well. Oh. You can actually continue to make ice and keep it in different sections, keep it in a little yes. box, so that when you are having that cocktail party, you or when the guys out. are coming around, real simple, you've got ice. you got ice. You've got to have ice in the summer and it's there easily made very, very quickly. And that comes back also to the speed of that compressor, the speed of the, the smart sensors working. When, they, when it knows that freezer has dropped or gone up in, t in degrees, hit that smart freeze. It's going to give it a blast, get that ice freezing really quickly, get that ice cream freezing really quickly so that A, you're going to have your food stay fresher for longer, but also hey, we can get, get that drink happening, that gin and tonic happening much faster. All right, here's your details on the screen right now. Five double, uh, sorry, 300575. We have the bottom mount fridge for you from Samsung today. Exclusive um, deal here with us, giving you free delivery. $500 off, $500 off, plus we're shipping it to your door. Samsung are helping us with that delivery. It's coming to your door. Uh, no matter where you are shopping with us from right around Australia. And of course you get your warranty from Samsung as well. Two year warranty on the entire product, on the compressor. If anything goes wrong with that, that compressor, um, parts covered for 10 years. So peace of mind there. And that really is the heart of, of the machine. So 1199, do your research, do a little bit of a Google search. Samsung being one of the biggest brands in Australia, one of the biggest brands around the, the, around the world, um, the quality, the shelving, the layout, the features, the technology, the sensors, everything is on point and you can upgrade your fridge right now so easily, so efficiently and I'm thinking about those credit points that are going to go into your account next month. That's going to be a happy day. That's going to be like 240 credit points in your account next month to spend on whatever you want. Not to mention if this is your first purchase with us here at Open Shop, you get 10% off and I bet you'll be really happy that you've waited for it to be a, a big ticket item like this because that's a big saving off your first purchase. $11.99 will give you another $100 off 
if it's your first purchase. Now, we have more questions that you have. If you have any questions, of course, speak to our call center. We're always happy to, to help you out. We're gonna answer as many as we can when we come back after this break. All right, it's time to upgrade your fridge, everybody. So these are the key points you need to know. You've had a look, you've seen us, you've heard Robbie. You know it's a great fridge, you know it's smart, you know the technology's there, you know the quality's there. Loving it all, I wanna know if it's gonna fit. So let's talk about dimensions. Really important because you do not wanna get it all the way home and then, oh no, it's not gonna fit. Okay, so let's work this out. Um, the whole fridge actual dimensions, Robbie, is that it there, 700? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's 700 wide by 60 deep by 1700 high. Okay, so what does that mean though for my cavity? What space do I need? Because I can't, obviously it needs a bit of room to move. Absolutely, well a really good uh, rule of thumb is a couple of centimetres around every side. So with that, if it can slide in, you actually have those centimetres at the top, the sides and the back. Mm -hmm. It allows you to open the door and just give it a little bit of breathing room. Okay, so, so you need more than 70 centimetres, you might need 80. 68 maybe centimetre, sorry, 78 centimetres, sorry, I'm going the other way, 78 centimetres. So because literally if you think about it, it has to be able to smoothly roll in. You don't want to be jamming it in because you still need to be able to open the door um, effectively. So giving yourself that extra eight to 10 centimetres around the whole fridge is ideal. I want to talk also about after sale care because I know that's something that we're all really mindful of. In the unlikely event of anything going wrong, I want to know that somebody's there for me. Well, we have live chat on our website, which is available pretty much 24 seven. Great. So what I like about that is a lot of your customers are probably sitting there right now with a phone in their hand or in their pocket. Mm -hmm. You can just simply jump onto our website. We have fact pages if you have any questions. You can call our 1300 number. We're always happy to assist, even if it's just a product question, always there for you. Okay, I love that. And you know, when you are having an issue with something you want it fixed straight away okay so and that's what Samsung are really mindful of okay so once we go inside the fridge again can we go inside some of the most commonly asked questions from consumers are how flexible are the shelves because my family changes my day changes my week changes all the time um, people staying with you holidays, parties, whatever, I need to be able to manoeuvre stuff around. Yes, well, flexible storage is super, super, super important. Now, we know your life changes. Christmas mm. is coming up. You might have those annoying aunties and uncles coming over. <laughs> and with that, you need more space for your food. Mm -hmm. Really simple, we have some shelves that slide back, like our Easy Slide shelf. You can fully remove all of those shelves if you like to fit other things in. And our wine rack as well that you can see inside there. Mm -hmm. That's able to be removed if you don't want to use it or at that point you don't need to have it. 
Also, all of the door shelving is, you can adjust, you can't obviously adjust this one, but you can move this up and down, you can make these a little bit taller. So you've kind of got to think about it before you start loading it, right? Where am I going to need some height on the door? Absolutely. And again, the best part is you can chop and change that at any point. So let's just say that you have it stacked wonderfully, mm -hmm. just like this. Then you start to get some bigger bottles, maybe some two litre solo bottles, for example, and things start to get a little bit cramped. Mm -hmm. Really simply, you can move shelves up or take them out completely. Really easy. And all of these shelves too can go um, be washed, taking them out, give them a nice good little wash out with Absolutely. soap. Absolutely, just wash them with a little bit of warm water mm -hmm. and just make sure they're completely dry before you put them back in. Brilliant. Now what about the door seal? What do I, is there anything I need? Can I clean underneath the door seal? The seal? Oh, absolutely. Just with a, a lightly damp cloth, you're very welcome to wipe that around and mm. that will clean it, no problem. Now, speaking of, of, you know, door seals, old fridges tend to get quite smelly. You know, food gets in there, it kind of gets into the into the fan and it's all kind of, you just can't get rid of it. Tell me a little bit about that deodoriser. Is there anything I need to do there? I want to, uh, I'm sure people at home are saying, hang on, do I need to change filters? Do I need to do anything with that? No, the deodoriser again is another one of our great features, which is going to remove odours without you having to lift a finger or do anything. So it's located Right there, we'll probably try and zoom in on that. Oh, you've absolutely nailed it. Uh, and that guy there, basically, it has cool air from your fridge going through it. It captures those odours mm -hmm. and then it releases cool, fresh air back into your fridge. Oh, I love that. Um, and I want to talk a little bit about when we're not using our fridge because, you know, obviously we go to our fridge so many times a day and our fridge is working harder. When we go on vacation, which a lot of us are over the next few weeks, we want to know that the fridge isn't working unnecessarily hard while we're not there. What's the vacation setting? Oh, vacation mode is really cool because what that does, it actually, you're basically telling the fridge that you don't need to use it as much. It drops that temperature, or drops the motor down, I should say, the compressor. So that allows you to have the less strain on your energy bill because it basically knows that it doesn't need to work as hard. Right, because it's not going to be, the door's not going to be open. We don't need to empty it, the food's still in there. It's just saying, hey, we're not going to be using you as much, so put your feet up. There you go, absolutely. Or right. just chuck everything into the freezer if you're going away for three to six months to Europe, if you're lucky. Enough. Oh gosh, that'd be great. Wouldn't it? Okay, so you've got all of your bases covered. We also have the alarm. Now that's really important if the kids, which happens all the time at my place, they leave doors open, they leave fridge doors open, and you know, you need the alarm. But sometimes if you're doing a big load up or a big clean up, you kind of want that alarm to stop beeping at you. Absolutely, so the door alarm comes on as standard, but you can and just switch it off just clicking that alarm button at the top which really does help you when you're trying to put all of those groceries away it's taking five to ten minutes and you're just like shut up how annoying is it like right it's, now for example <laughs> it actually makes you feel really anxious because you're trying to hurry up and you think, why am i letting my appliance tell me to do that i should just turn it off you can do that you're in control of your appliance um, now the light as well i love this this is really key and you know have a look at where your light is at the moment the samsung light is right down here so it doesn't matter if something gets put in front of the light because if you put something in front of the light all of a sudden the whole fridge seems dark. Oh so true and with conventional fridges there's probably a point in your fridge I'm gonna guess it's somewhere in the back corner yeah and that's gonna be completely dark yeah it's like can't get any light into that section mm -hmm. that's why we actually use LED lighting and as you can see the strips on the side it, it's angled into the fridge mm -hmm. so it actually can illuminate every shelf and we love LED because you pretty much never need to change the globe right? absolutely you don't and so if you've ever gone to try and find a globe for your fridge you'll know how hard that is okay don't have to worry that about, about that when it comes to LED so loads of space versatile adaptable functional I want to talk one last time if you're sitting on the fence and thinking oh Carla I really want to upgrade my fridge I know it's on its last legs I don't want to wait until it actually dies to replace it is this going to be the right fridge for me I want you to think about this how often do you go to your fridge? How many people in your home? These are the questions that you need to ask yourself. With a 450 litre fridge, roughly, 
what sort of family size are we talking about? Well, it does depend on how much food you eat and how often you're there. But for me, I'd probably say sort of between a small to medium family. Right. So those small to medium families have the ability to fit all of their food in here. Mm -hmm. And to show you how roomy it is on the inside, we've actually put a couple of these large trays. Oh, yes. I'm going to give you the cheese tray. You can have that. Yes. And I'll take this one. Oh, a little bit of salmon. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Nice. Now, how easy did these fit in the fridge? It's easily. And have a look at the depth of this one. The fruit platter up the top, it's so deep. Look wow. at that. How deep? Oh my gosh, my muscles. <laughs> that is d deep platter, right? That was right at the top, going all the way to the back. So yes, you're going to utilise every single inch of this fridge. You're going to have your food last longer because it's been preserved at the right temperature without too many fluctuations. These are the important questions you need to ask yourself. Am I wasting my food? Am I throwing it out before I should be? Am I freezing my food adequately? Am I throwing it away too quickly? Get on the phones now and pick up on your Samsung. We're going to deliver it to you for free. Robbie, thank you so much. What an amazing show. I'm sure you've given so much, everybody food for thought, no pun intended. <laughs> Thanks so much for having me. This was such a cool show. Nice. <laughs> nice one. That was Jason. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't me. Uh, always got to get the dad joke. Hey, thank you so much for joining us. More shopping coming up after this break.